Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to answer the question of, so what do you do if you have greater than 10,000 records? In the last video, I showed you how to copy and paste from an attribute table, and it works for a reasonable amount of uh, rows or amount of records in your attribute table. But as you can see here, um, down at the bottom left, the 2010 census for Dane County has over 10,000 um, records or polygons. Uh, and so in this case, it's a bit too much for my computer to handle uh, to simply copy and paste. In fact, if I tried it, uh, it would give me an error to say can't paste. Uh, however, I know Excel can open it. So how do we get that data over? Well, what you're going to do is open your attribute table as I have done here. You're going to go to that top left corner to the table options again. And then clicking that down arrow, there is an export option. So this will export out just the attribute table information. So we're going to make sure we have all records, or if you did do a selection from a bigger record set, you can absolutely export just the selected records. The next thing we want to do, you notice that we have the coordinate systems are all grayed out because we're exporting attribute information only. We're not exporting shape information or shape files or geodatabases. Next thing we need to do is browse to where we want to save this. And so I'm going to save it into my process data vector folder. Or I'm sorry, not vector folder, but process data tables because it's just the table information. And so I will call it something like trends 2010 census blocks. And then you want to save as type a dbase table. We don't want to do a file geodatabase table, uh, and I don't want the rest of these either. Um, my experience has been dbase table has been the most reliable to get into Excel easily. And so you can see it puts that period dbf on the end and simply click save and click OK. And no, we don't want to open it to ArcMap. Now, one thing to also note is you will have to jump over to Excel and you'll actually have to open this file. Um, double clicking or open with in my uh, experience has not worked all that well. So you simply go to Excel, go to file and you can go to open and you're just going to browse to where your data is located or where you just put that table. So in my case, I have this trends 2010 census blocks. Now notice it says DBF XML here and it's only one kilobyte. I know for a fact that that many records is not one kilobyte but if you know to look down here it says all Excel files. A DBF isn't an Excel file so what we first need to do is click on this and just say all files and now you'll notice that there is a period DBF file that is 40 some megabytes while there's a DBF XML. So ignore the XML, we want the DBF file here. So we'll cl click on that and then we'll click open. And again, it's a big file. So now we have all of our information in here. If you scroll across, uh, you notice we do have a couple of big fields here so we can just make them smaller. But at the end, in our previous examples is where our population density is. And so that is here. So that is how you export attribute information out of ArcMap and open it into Excel. And then it's as simple as either copying and pasting all of this information into your other Excel document. So that way they're all in the same document if you need them there. So that concludes this video. Thanks.